Hey, Katie here, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm doing makeup because it's all I seem to want to do right now. I don't know if this is a get ready with me or a first impression type video, but it's basically both. I'm really, I'm really experimenting today. Like, don't expect this to turn out well at all. Hey, I hope that you're having a lovely day wherever you're at. I'm good. I have a little bit more use of my arm, hand, wrist thing with little to no pain um, after I sprained it. Uh, if you saw the last video, I explained a little bit more about that, but um, yeah, so that's cool. It's not really uh, swollen much anymore. Is that actually? Okay, it might still be swollen. Anyways, I went to Ulta and specifically searching for red blush, powder blush, but it turns out there's none of that anywhere. So I got two, two different types of red blush. This one is from Benefits. It's in the color Love, fiery red tint, lip and cheek tint. And then this one is in the color Cherry and it's by Undone, Undone Beauty. Yeah, so I'm really excited to swatch some of these. So this is packaging. This was pretty inexpensive. Uh, it says it's a water blush. Here is this. I think it's just like a gel type stick is what it's looking like. And judging by some of the color, it's definitely more on the cooler side. I was looking for like a legitimate like, well, uh, there's a whole art background history of legitimate red primary color but here we have this that's really pretty let's see how it like blends out oh oh wow okay so this like does it kind of but it blends out it's definitely probably something you're going to want to put on a very moisturized face <laughs> I can't really blend it out any more than that um why would I put it so far on my wrist? And now this one is the Love Tint from the Benefit. Why does it just say lip stain on it? It literally, it just says a lip stain right here, but then on the back it says cheek and lip stain right there. So I don't know, the packaging is definitely much cuter. Let me see if I can show you that cap right there some of the details it's it's adorable right ooh you know i didn't neither of them really have much of a smell but this is definitely <laughs> it's not focusing anyways this is definitely more of the color i was looking for that is a lot okay so i feel like maybe a little if it's tinted real hard i think a little bit will definitely go a long way with this oh definitely oh definitely <laughs> okay it's also still a bit more on the cool side like in person it almost maybe it's just my skin tone it almost makes like a magenta which the controversy is that is the actual primary color um but comparatively, this is darker, more more brown, I would say, and this is definitely more on the brighter, yellower side. I'm gonna wash this off, wash my face, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna do, I guess, a full face. I don't really know yet, we'll see, we'll see. It's, I don't wanna spend two hours on makeup, but I might. Hi, I'm back. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some oils on my face. And um, you have to excuse me if the makeup ends up kind of, eh, I can't see without my glasses. Um, so I'm going in with CEO Glow. And it's got vitamin C, turmeric, face oil. I just like to put a little bit on my cheeks, some on my head. 
I think I'm going to go ahead and do some of this egg mellow cream. It's like an all-in-one, apparently. There's not a lot left. I really like this stuff. It's a uh, firming. Aero Radiant Skin. And I put on, like, a ton of moisturizer of various kinds. I'll put that right here. Put a healthy amount right there. And it's for a little bit of color and something and stuff. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm just going in with it. So this is what I have. Ooh. <laughs> and I just, um, pat that in. I think that's pretty much covered <laughs> everything. My house cannot decide whether or not it's going to be cold or warm today, so. I'm going to go in with some primer. I suppose. Is that how this works? I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to makeup. I'm still experimenting and I feel like a lot of people just experiment and do stuff, but in terms of steps, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to go in with this Stila One Step Primer Prep Smooth and Nourish. I don't think I need to put too much on, do I? Like I'm just going to do like two pumps. Mm. I just read the directions on this. It says a pea-sized amount. Um, <laughs> I just used so much product on my face. Fun. I think what I want to do is I'm going to use this. It's a nude stick from someone. I think it's from the brand Nude Sticks. I don't know. It's a Nudies Tinted Blur Stick. It's in light two. I'm just going to put this underneath my eye, right? Kind of up there, too, because I feel like it. And I think because I have a lot of texture and stuff, I'm going to go down. Whole little triangle situation. Next question is, do I want to use this one? I pulled it out. It's been in my hand. It looks about the same color, which mm, might be okay. It's a concealer active wear Maybelline 30H. It's a nice color. Let's see what it looks like outside. It's uh, kind of yellowish. So I think what I'm going to do is put that underneath my eyeballs. I'm putting a lot. And I'm, <laughs> I'm just going in with my fingers. And I'm going to blend this out. This is a very, very light elf concealer in the color Fair Rose. I'm going to do this just like on my eyelids. Um, yeah, cute stuff. Um, yeah, I think I'm supposed to use powders now. My mom gave me this lovely powder. It's a celebration foundation and it's in fair or maybe it's from it. I don't really make up. <laughs> it's time to get rid of this, this brush. It is shedding like crazy. But can you see my under eyes? Like, they're creasing so bad right now. And I don't know what to do about it. Should I just put extra powder on? Yeah, anyways. Um, we're gonna go in with the blush. I usually do my eyeshadow first, but I'm really excited. And maybe some people just came to to look at the these. And so that's what we're going to do. I haven't decided if I'm going to do like one cheek, one cheek, but they're so different. I think that's, I'm not going to be able to do that. So 
the best I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try doing this. I'm terrified. It's so pigmented. How do I want to do my blush though? Like, do I want to do this? Which seems classic right now. Do I want to just do my apples? Do I want to do a triangle going downwards? I don't... I'm gonna put it on the apples and see... I'll just do three little dots, right? It is so pigmented. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm hoping that it kind of mixes into, you know, the foundation and stuff pretty well. I think this looks pretty nice. Okay, so I do have an issue with the fact that you can see the three dots. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. In person, they're definitely three vibrant red dots. Uh, which I am not here for so I might have to fiddle with this a little bit more maybe use a sponge next time rather than applying it directly to my face I don't know but I'm gonna go ahead and try this water stick or blush um, yeah it doesn't smell like anything we're just gonna I'm, I'm, I like to kind of contour with my blush at the same time as maybe use a little bit of contour depending on, you know, the season or what I'm feeling like doing. Uh, so I'm just going to put this right on the underside of where I had the other blush and blend it up into the other stuff. <laughs> so red. But you see how like it kind of sharpens the cheekbone a little bit? But I'm going to use a clean finger and kind of try and drag it more up and blur, blur it upwards. Only sight will tell me how this looks. So, um, you know what? It's, it's not bad. I am disappointed about the dots, the red dots. This one, however, the one by Undone, it blended in pretty nicely. Um, red might not be my color, too. Uh, I don't know, but compared to this side and this side, like, I like it. I'm gonna do this side real quick, and then we'll come back and do the rest of the face, and see how it goes <sighs> I might tone it down a little bit um I'm really like I enjoy it but I think this is pretty cute I'm still in the market I think though for some red blush so if you guys ever find a powder red blush please comment down below because I'm not dying for it but I a lot of my looks I like the color red so I, I just always, like, end up using a eyeshadow <laughs> if I want to put actual red blush on. Um, but yeah, okay, so this is this. So, eye makeup. That's what I'm about to do. Um, hmm. I feel like I should probably just stick with the red theme and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm using this. Cherry Cheers, is that what it says? Oh, Cherry Crush. I can't see. Like, literally, it's, it's that far in front of my face, and I can't read what it says on the thing. It does have a tendency to be literally all of it, where it has the asterisks, all those colors, except for the Cherry Stem color. You're not supposed to use it around the eyeball area, but I don't know why. I'm going to use it. Well, I'm going to go in with Cherry Stem right here. And that's going to be just like blended. And the crease color. What is that called? It's the transition color, right? Anyways, I'm mostly going into the outer corner. Right? I'm trying to... I'm going to try and change my eye shape. Zoom. 
I didn't transition that first part, but, um, so this is what I have right now. Um, it's something. I don't really know still where I'm going with this, but I think take a bite and put that in the crease as well. Right? But I'm also going to bring it, I'm not, I'm going to concentrate it in this first, uh, two thirds of the eye and kind of onto the eyelid in the corner to okay so yes there we go um I think then we're gonna take black cherry right here and I'm gonna just use like a regular tip right here yeah, okay. I know what I'm doing now. That's what that look was. You know? And that's gonna go everywhere but the outer corner of the eye. Um, the corner. It's gonna go everywhere but the corners of the eyes. We're gonna start in the center. I'm starting? Are you following this tutorial? Is this a tutorial now? I'm just playing with makeup. Um, anyways... Right, and then I'm going to just kind of gradient it out in taps and stuff. <sighs> um, anyways, with that same brush that we used the black cherry on, I'm going to take just like the smallest amount of the take a bite, you know, on the same side of the brush with that red from the black cherry. And that's going in the inner corner, just like of the eyelid, you know, and we're blending that into the Blend that into the deep red, the black cherry color. I'm just like trying really hard not to get that on my under eyelid too. This one right here, Cerise, Cerise, Caris. How would I pronounce that? I'm not not a hundred percent sure, but that's beside the point. I'm gonna take. A nice a nice amount and I've wiped off my brush it's probably still has some of the take a bite in it but it, I wiped it off um, I'm going into the outer corners now did we see this coming and I just uh I think I'm gonna take some more of this black cherry kind of blend it into there and I'm just probably gonna take a minute to just do that back and forth. I'm gonna use this Luxie small shader, 245 small shader to be exact. I don't know if there's any others. That's the one I'm using now. I'm gonna go lightest to darkest. So, sweet like, that's what it's called, sweet like. That's such a, I, I thought I was gonna say cherry, but I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna put like, you know, a bunch on here. Concentrated it on one side. Doesn't matter. Um, a little bit. But I'm putting that in the corners. And I'm dabbing that on. Oh, I feel like I should have done the under eye part first. Underneath. I'm not supposed to be using this around my eyes, why? I might, oh, I'm so excited. You guys, this is going to be so freaking cute. So, I mean, it's not really doing much. Dare I get it wet? I think I'm going to try and put it on with my finger because these kind of, like, you know the glitter the glittery kind of shades they do better if they're just tapped on which was why I was trying to use this I think what I want actually is just straight glitter <laughs> anyways I'm going in with the very cherry right here I'm loading my brush up with it okay like mm. Shimmer me timbers. Get it? Shimmer. 
is a shimmer. Um, anyways, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I can't tell if you can even if it's focused because nothing's in focus for me. That's gorgeous. Um, uh, it's going on the middle. You know, you know the drill. We're matching the shimmers up with the color. And if you didn't know the drill, that's fine. That's fine. I know what is in my head and how I want to do it now. So I know the drill and I'm trying to explain it to you. Don't feel bad. You ever feel like you're digging yourself a hole and you can't just shut up? That's me. That's my life. I am a ditch digging oxymoron. Okay. Like that's who I am. And I really like the shiny red going into the deep purple um, maroony moody thing. So this is it juicy juicy? It's just called juicy juicy right here. I'm gonna swish brushes again. You know what? I'm not I'm not even gonna use a brush. I'm gonna use my pinky. I'm gonna do an inside dot, you know, but 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 I need another palette. I'm gonna use this palette that I got. It's a it's a hard candy from Walmart. You know, I got it a couple years ago. It's uh, called Look Pro, I guess. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take this. Sh Ooh. I'm going to layer some inner eye shimmer. Okay, I'm going to go in with this one right here. It's like a neutral skin toned light shimmer, right? That is a lot. Why did I put so much on? Okay, well, I'm just going to go into the corner. I'm dabbing, right? And that's going to go pretty fi far, wide, and high, I guess. That's just going to, like, shimmer the whole inner eye, is what I'm saying. I think I'm going to go in with this peachy shimmer as well. Um, going to spread it out, just not as far. And then... With this palette, back to the Cherry Crush, I'm going to use the Juicy Juice, the darkest of the shimmers on here, as my, um, I fear this is too much. Ah, okay, I'm going to dab the excess off. I'm going to put that in the corner. Oh, wow, okay. Um, ah, yeah. It did a thing. Right? That that <laughs> did it make me look sick? <sighs> so we're gonna do eyeliner now. I'm excited because this might be super cute or not. I'm not sure. But um this is by Ramel London. It's scandalous eyes, 24 hour wear, number two, sparkling black, and <sighs> it truly is one of my favorites with this sharp little sharpness thing I need to make the best use of it it's a very soft um, eyeliner so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the wings first I'm gonna do a winged eyeliner <laughs> but it's gonna go right here I'll do both eyes as best as I can. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my under eye. Right. I'm gonna try my best to do a just like thin sharp line. I think the key to this is going to be sharp, but I don't know. Voila! The under eye is done. Um <laughs> It's not as sharp as I want it to be, but I think, nor is it as thin. Uh, it probably would have been easier to use a liquid eyeliner. Maybe not easier, but like more precise. You know, doesn't matter. I am going to do a graphic. Uh, should I do it above or into? I don't. I've tried to do a graphic liner like once. 
I don't know how it went. I think I'm just going to kind of put a line. Right? Like, that's how you're supposed to do it, right? I think that's how you're supposed to do it. I decided to go into these. I've used all of my point. Like, this is so very much a soft eyeliner. And, um, but yeah, so one side looks better than the other. I'll let you choose. They're both different. I know everybody has their own opinions. Yeah, I'm pretty chill with this look at the moment. I definitely need to put on some sort of mascara. I think I'm going to use this one. It's uh, Fully Charged by Pure. It like builds length or something, I guess. It says it's mascara powered by magnets. You just apparently don't want to go over it again after it's dried. I think I'm going to do a little bit on the bottoms too. It's already got it on there. So I might as well. I, I can't see it. Because my eyes are literally just now black and blobs surrounded by red. Um, excuse me a second. Wow! I look like a baddie. Do I look like a baddie? Is that what people say these days? Um, I don't know what I want to do in terms of lipstick. Um, yeah, um, this is gonna be the look. I might do my eyebrows, but this this is this is the makeup look that I'm going with with the uh all this. <gasps> That's not I forgot you guys I forgot I wanna do and, and then sparkles you know so I'm gonna use this as my highlighter it's the sweet like and um Put that right there where the blush is supposed to go because it is red uh and it might end up being more of a blush than the blush i put on who knows anyways now this is the end of the look i don't know what do you think please leave a comment down below if you feel like sharing i've gotta go Bye. Love ya. I'm looking at the wrong card again. Oh my gosh. I hope you have a lovely day. Okay, bye.